and we're back. American Tomahawk Company's Vietnam Tomahawk by Peter Lagana. Mine, the head was just a touch loose, but it's always indoors and dry. When I took it hunting, anytime it got wet, got nasty weather, it tightened up rock solid like a vice. But you'll notice on the wedge, I tried to slam the wedge in there more with a Torx bit screwdriver. Ended up dinking up the wedge a bit. And I also blued up the top of the wood a little. Let's see if I can get a better picture. But it's tight as can be. Uh, like I said, this one was like 150 at the time. But if you go on to Botash or some of the other sites now or just Google it under the shopping tab, you can generally find them for around 90 or or $100. And they call them now a VTAC, Vietnam Tactical Tomahawk. They come with a fiber type resin handle that's pretty much unbreakable and it has cross hatchings on an angle down the whole thing protruding from the handle not cut into the handle for grip and they, they show a video of setting them on a curb and driving over them with pickup trucks and all kinds of stuff where they bend and come back to shape I might pick one up, I like this enough, I use this one, I beat the junk out of it it's a great tomahawk, it's semi indestructible, the head's warranted for life if you bang it, chip it, beat it, whatever, They'll you send it and they'll give you another one. And on the VTAC, it's guaranteed to never come loose, which is really neat. It throws, it cuts, it chops. Um, this not made for too many things, but if you were to use it for what it was made for, I'm sure it would get the job done in a split second. It is exceptionally fast. It is exceptionally light. You can stick this thing just in your belt. Just slide it down and let the head hold on, and it's fine. It's out of the way. This one came with a really nice sheath by Eagle Industries. You see, I've kind of beat it. Well, you can get read it if you can. The Eagle USA, St. Louis, Missouri. Very hard cardur. Very durable. The, the marring you see there is just dirt and dink I could probably clean off. But that was from beating tent stakes in with the, with the head on. And what's that? Brigade Quartermaster. It's kind of messed up. And 308, so it was a matching sheath for that piece. It slides, let me see if I can do this. It slides in and then rocks up. Let me see if I can, excuse me. And once it clicks up, it has a snap that folds over. It was made to be carried on the belt like this. And you would reach around behind your back, pop the snap, rock it, and lift it out. It's way too tight for that. It would never work for that. As a matter of fact, just to try to get the thing back out of the sheath uh, is a chore in itself. But I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these. I think Cold Steel bought American Tomahawk Company in recent times. But they're a very, very fine weapon. They're a very fine camp tool. They're very fun to have and collect. They're great to throw. Hanging out in the woods, you get bored, you're done hunting, coming home, or you're just camping. If you can find a fat enough tree or a good enough stump, you can throw this thing all day long, having fun. You can get pretty proficient with it. If you do that, you could probably take yourself a rabbit or a squirrel even when you're out there camping to get some uh, pot meat for your uh, campfire. It's just endless fun to this thing, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you got the time or the inclination, check out Botash. That's the one place I saw I had the best deal for a while, and I think they still have their stimulus coupon. You can get 10% off, I'm pretty sure. And you get this thing for 85 or 90 bucks with the VTAC handle. That's that fiber resin that'll never come loose, and I think it's more of a paint finish, like a gun coat. Instead of the bluing to make it a little more rust resistant, it's really, really a neat thing to have. And it's a lot of fun. But beware, you'll start buying more than one, get some throwers, start collecting. So it'll be a new hobby and more of your money spent. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay safe.